hello and welcome to the channel where I provide daily cricket content. In today's video I am going to do something fun which has taken me a while to work out. I am going to name who this Englishman believes to be the best Indian Test 11 from the proud cricketing nation's history. I think the batting was a lot easier than the bowling so I would be interested to hear what you think about who I have selected to take 20 wickets. So let's get started. Number 1, Sunil Gavaskar. An easy one to start. Gavaskar is widely regarded as one of the greatest opening batsmen in the history of Test cricket. He scored 10,122 runs in 125 Test matches at an average of 51.12, including 34 centuries and 45 half centuries. Gavaskar was known for his solid technique and concentration, which made him a tough opponent for any bowler. Number 2, Varenda Sehwag. Varenda Sehwag was one of the most destructive opening batsmen in Test cricket. He scored 8,586 runs in 104 test matches at an average of 49.34, including 23 centuries and 32 half-centuries. Sehwag was known for his aggressive approach and his ability to score runs at a rapid pace. I think he would be a perfect foil for Gavaskar. Number 3, Rahul Dravid. If anyone has been watching my channel for a while they will know of my fondness for Dravid. In my eyes he was one of the most technically sound batsmen in the history of Test cricket. Dravid scored 13,288 runs in 164 Test matches at an average of 52.31, including 36 centuries and 63 half-centuries. Dravid was known for his solid defense and his ability to bat for long periods of time. Number 4, Sachin Tendulkar. He doesn't really need much of an introduction does he? But I'll try. Tendulkar is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen in the history of Test cricket. He scored 15,921 runs in 200 Test matches at an average of 53.78, including 51 centuries and 68 half-centuries. Tendulkar was known for his sublime technique, his ability to score runs all around the ground, and his incredible longevity. Number 5, Virat Kohli. Kohli is one of the best batsmen in the world today and has already established himself as one of the greatest batsmen in Indian cricket history. He has scored 8,416 runs in 108 test matches at an average of 48.93, including 28 centuries and also 28 half-centuries. Kohli is known for his aggressive approach and his ability to play match-winning innings. Although Kohli isn't currently in the best of form he is too good to leave out of my side. Number 6, Kapil Dev. Kapil Dev is widely regarded as one of the greatest all-rounders in the history of Test cricket. He scored 5,248 runs and took 434 wickets in 131 Test matches. Kapil was known for his aggressive batting and his ability to swing the ball both ways. He was also a skilled fast bowler and a brilliant fielder. Number 7 Mahendra Singh Dhoni. MS Dhoni is one of the best wicketkeeper batsmen in the history of Test cricket. He scored 4,876 runs in 90 test matches at an average of 38.09, including 6 centuries and 33 half-centuries. Dhoni was known for his calm demeanor and his ability to lead the team under pressure. Number 8, Anil Kumble. Anil Kumble is one of the greatest spinners in the history of test cricket. He took 619 wickets in 132 test matches at an average of 29.65, including 35 5 wicket hauls and 8 10 wicket hauls. Kumble was known for his accuracy, his ability to generate bounce, and his never say die attitude. Number 9, Bhagwat Chandrasekhar. Bhagwat Chandrasekhar was one of the greatest leg spinners in the history of Test cricket. He took 242 wickets in 58 Test matches at an average of 29.74, including 16 5 wicket hauls. Chandrasekhar was known for his unorthodox action, his sharp turn and bounce, and his ability to take wickets in clusters. Number 10, Jaspri Bumra. Bumra is the least experienced in my team but his blistering start to his test career earns him a place in my starting 11. Although he has only played 30 test matches he has already taken 128 wickets at an average of under 22 runs per wicket. Of a short run with a unique action Bumra can generate serious pace coupled with late movement. Number 11, Zahir Khan. I have to admit the second fast bowling slot was the hardest position for me. I went for Zahir due to him being left-handed, angling across right-handers. Also his follow-through would likely create some rough for the leg spinners. He took 311 wickets in 92 test matches at an average of 32.94, including 11 5 wicket hauls. 
Zahir was known for his ability to swing the ball both ways, his accuracy, and his ability to bowl with pace and aggression. Although that record may seem underwhelming had he played his career in somewhere like England I believe his average would have come right down. Upon review, this Indian test team has an incredibly strong batting lineup, with Gavaskar, Sewag, Dravid, Tendulkar, and Kohli mixing grit with stroke play. I would actually argue that no country in world cricket could put forward a better top five than that. You could possibly argue Australia but I'd still lean towards the Indians. Working down the team sheet Kapil Dev is a great all-rounder who can contribute with both bat and ball, while Dhoni adds depth to the batting and provides excellent wicket-keeping skills and would probably be my captain. Kumble and Chandrasekhar are two world-class spinners who can bamboozle any batting lineup, while Zahir and Bumrah are two quality fast bowlers who can provide pace, swing, and accuracy. This team has a good mix of experience, skill, and temperament, and would be a formidable opponent for any other test team in the world. The players who only just missed out were Harbhajan Singh and Mohammad Shami. Bumrah had to be in the side, I think he is the best bowler in world cricket at the moment so it was between Shami and Zahir. As I mentioned I liked the variation of having a left arm quick in the team. I could easily be persuaded to swap Harbhajan for Chandrasekhar but I went with the latter as although he is a leg spinner he is very different to Kumble and would compliment him I believe. I'd really like to know what you think of this Englishman's attempt at an all-time Indian 11 so let me know in the comments who you'd swap. Thanks for watching everyone.